Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to make lining for this backpack. And first of all, I'm not the professional sewing, but I just want to share with you guys how I make lining for my bag. And you can use this technique with every bag you want. Doesn't have to be just backpack. That's what inside look like. And also, I will show you how to make this zipper pocket as well. If you don't want to make zipper pocket, you just ignore this part. Don't worry about that part. For this part, I sew by hand. I sew the fabric to the crochet bag. But for the uh, pocket, I sew by using sewing machine. Like I said, this technique you can use with different bag. See, this is one of my crochet bag, and I use the same technique for the lining. I will show you inside. That's what inside look like. So this part I sew by hand, and then this pocket I use sewing machine. We do exact same technique. Same with this one. I will show you inside. That's what inside look like. But this one, I didn't make the pocket. Like I said, if you don't want to make the pocket, you don't need to make one. Just ignore that part. And let's see what we will need for this lining project. And enjoy! So material you will need is fabric and I bought it from Joanne. You can use any kind of fabric you like and then zipper. So for zipper is for the uh, pocket. If you don't want to make pocket, you don't need zipper. And measuring tape, thread and sewing needle. Doesn't have to be this kind, but I recommend this kind for this project. And you will need scissors. And also marker or pen, whatever you have, and then pins. Alright, I will show you how to measure your uh, bag to make the lining. So I start the length first. So I start um, measure from here, the front, and then go to the bottom and then hold it right here and then turn the back and then continue measuring till you come to the um, the end here so I have about 28 inches almost 28 inches and I always give myself extra when I cut the fabric. So I gonna cut 30 inches for the length. And then next, we gonna measure the width. So see from here to here. So my bag is about 14 inches, but I gonna cut uh, 15 inches. Alright, so I will meet you guys when I have my fabric cut. So now I cut my fabric. I cut 30 inches length and the width is uh, 15 inches. So I just fold it in half so you guys can see. But when you make zipper pocket, make sure you don't fold the fabric in half. And next, I'm gonna show you guys how to measure the pocket, the zipper pocket. So bring your zipper. And then I'm gonna measuring my zipper, the teeth of my zipper. So it's almost nine inches. So I'm gonna say nine inches. But when I cut the fabric, all the way 
uh, cut two inches extra so my is nine so I will cut 11 inches this is the width and for the length it's going to depend how deep you want your pocket to be when it's finished so let's say my is I would say six inches I want it to be when it finished and have to double it so have to cut the fabric about 12 inches and always give yourself a little extra now I have my fabric cut see I fold it in half and next we can uh, move on to next step so now I draw the pocket line pocket hole and um, so from here down to here it's gonna be this part you have to decide how how deep you want your fabric to be I hope it makes sense <laughs> when I draw this pocket hole I leave uh, I draw the length about one and a half centimeter so I recommend don't leave the hole bigger than that because it turned out not very good I tried it before and the uh, width is depend how wide you want your pocket to be and after you draw that you're gonna draw this tight angle inside here so this part gonna be the pocket hole so before you sew it make sure the fabric the right side facing each other alright so I'm gonna go ahead and sew it around so I'm gonna start from the bottom start all the way here and then go up and then turn this side and then come down so don't sew the tie ankle okay don't sew that alright so I will meet you guys there now I'm sewing this part already so I will show you on the back side this is what the back look like and then we gonna cut this middle here middle part here so I'm gonna hold my fabric like this so I can cut in the middle to make the hole and then cut this side first in the middle okay till you come to tie angle when you come to this tie angle you're gonna cut into the line that we draw that's why we draw the tie angle line make sure you cut it's really close to the um, corner there and make sure you don't cut the thread that we sew and then we're gonna cut the other side cut the same So now we are gonna bring this pocket into this hole. See, I bring in there to be in the back part. This one as well.
see that's what it look like and then I gonna go ahead and iron it it's more easy to sew when you iron it and look beautiful too <laughs> okay after I iron it that's what it look like and I gonna turn the back so just to show you guys that's what it look like next we gonna sew this uh, pocket to the zipper and bring your zipper and then put it down and just put this fabric on top don't have to do anything fancy just put this on top and then we're gonna start sewing from the bottom first so I'm gonna start sewing from here to this corner and then I will meet you guys when I come to this corner now I'm sewing the uh, bottom part already and next we're gonna sew the side and then the top and then come back to this side and before we sew I'm gonna show you something so turn this uh, to the back side and then before you sew you're gonna fold the fabric in half like this you can bring uh, it up a little bit it's up to you or you can stay right here doesn't matter all right so after you fold you're gonna start sewing from the side and then the top and then come back to the side and I will meet you guys when you're done sewing after I sew my zippered pocket that's what it look like and then I will show you on the back see we just sew this part all the way up and down here and next we're gonna sew the side of fabric uh, of the pocket sorry <laughs> see make sure when you sew you just sew the pocket fabric two pieces now I'm already sew my pocket side see I just sew two pieces I don't sew this piece to that pocket Okay, and next so we done of the pocket part and next we are gonna fold this fabric in half the right side facing each other and we are gonna sew into the wrong side so bring your back make sure one more time that you have the right side so mine is 14 inches but I gonna sew to the both side and make sure I leave about 14 and half inches open alright so I will miss you guys after I sew that fabric so after I done sewing my uh, fabric, I gonna show you what inside the right side look like. See, that's what is inside look like. And before we gonna sew to next step. We're going to make sure that we have the right side. We're going to put the lining into the back. Just want to make sure one more time that we have the right side before we move on to next step. So mine is pretty good. Mine is the right side. Next, we're going to sew the side for the bottom the bottom shape I'm sorry 
I hope it makes sense. See this, this is the length for the bottom. My is four inches, so I can show you with the other bag too. So this is the length, two and a half inches. But I gonna cut. I'm sorry. I gonna sew my four inches because my backpack is four inches. See this corner. I gonna hold my fabric like this. Make it tie and go like so. And measure this part. See, I have four inches here, and then I gonna sew from here to here four inches. And we gonna do that for both sides, and I will meet you guys after I sew both sides. Now I'm done with sewing the uh, bottom shape here for both sides. You can leave this or you can cut the tie and go out. I'm just gonna leave it like that. And I will show you what inside look like. The right side. See, it's create this shape. This is the bottom shape. And then we're gonna sew this lining to the back. So just go ahead and put your lining into your bag. And after you put that, you're gonna fold this part here and then you pin this around. So I use the clips to help me um, hold everything in place and you can use pin as well and then I bring my sewing needle and I gonna start sew from here. So this clip very helpful. I love this. So I gonna start from here gonna go to the back pack first just gonna tie a few knot And then I gonna sew to the fabric. I hope you guys can see right here. Just go in there. Oops. And then come up. And then go to the back to next stitch right here and then come back to the fabric do the same insert and then come up And then go back to the back to next stitch. And come back to the fabric. And 
and it come up like so this needle is very very good for this uh, project I recommend this needle but you also can use whatever you have just keep repeating this go back to your bag and then come back to your fabric see after that I gonna come to my fabric insert and come up and then go to the back with next stitch so you just keep sewing this around till you come to the end and I will meet you guys there when I come to the end I just gonna tie a few knots here just make sure it's uh, secure and then you just cut the thread I just gonna cut my thread later <laughs> and yeah now we're done that's what this look like see it's really beautiful you can't see the thread at all and you can't see from the outside either that's what inside look like and this lovely pocket so like I said I'm not professional sewing so but I just want to share with you the idea what I use to make for my lining see you can use with different bag as well I use exact same technique same with this one I use exact same technique but this one I didn't make a uh, zipper pocket okay so I hope you enjoy making this lining and if you think this video is helpful please give me a thumb up and share my video and thank you so much for watching and I will see you next video bye bye